previously on the beginner how-to guide for saltwater aquariums and reefs. To be honest here, nay, refugium likes. To the more expensive side, from companies such as the light bulb, the ballast, canopy, they're still gonna put off more heat. Good day again, everybody. Matthew here, your BRS beginner guru, coming at you with episode 27, part B, where we're gonna finish the five types of aquarium lighting, LEDs, and hybrids. If you missed episode 27, part A, be sure to check it out because we talked about refugium lights, metal halides, and T5 fluorescence. We will put a link below. So now let's take a journey back in time to five days ago when I actually filmed this video wearing a different t-shirt. There was a lot of hesitancy at the introduction of LED lights to this hobby 10, 15 years ago because we just didn't know if they would work. But we've come a long way since then and now there is a proven track record of success. Whether or not LED lights are the absolute best for coral growth and coloration still remains to be seen. But you can rest assured that if you buy an appropriately sized LED light, it's going to work for growing corals in your tank. That being said, just check out our website and look at how many different LED fixtures there are. It can be really overwhelming. Now strike that. It is incredibly overwhelming because as a beginner, how do you know which LED light fixture to choose? I mean, I'm actually looking at the website right now and I can count over 16 different manufacturers of LED lights. How in the world is a beginner supposed to narrow that down and find the best option for them? And not only that, but the LEDs come in so many different styles out there. How are you supposed to know? Are you supposed to get an LED fixture like Red Sea or Kessel or Aqua Illumination that has all of their LEDs in a small area? Or should you go with an LED panel that has the lights spread out over a larger area, such as the Reef Breeders, the Reef Brights, or the Orfec fixtures? I mean, seriously, how is a beginner supposed to navigate this world? You might have one one fixture that looks good for $100 and another fixture that looks good for $1,000 and as a beginner you're just going to have no idea and you're going to want to rip your hair out and walk away from this hobby because it's so confusing. So I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible for you. The first thing I'm going to recommend is if you buy some sort of all-in-one system, let's say you buy a Red Sea system or any other system that has an option to purchase lights with it, buy those lights because then you will know that the lights will definitely work for the size of your tank. If you're building your own system, I would honestly recommend just sticking with the Aqua Illumination lights. They are a middle of the road light, they're not priced too high, and they've been shown to grow a whole bunch of different corals. If, if you're curious what they look like, this is a Hydra 32 by Aqua Illumination, and these are both Hydra 16s by Aqua Illuminations. I use them myself and I really like them. They come in different sizes from the Hydra 16 all the way up to the 64, and really all you need to do is purchase the correct size and the correct number for your tank. So the most difficult decision you're gonna have to make is if you have a slightly larger tank, do you go with two of the 16s, or maybe instead of that, do you go with 132 or 164? And if you have any questions, all of us here at BRS are here to help you. So give us a call or shoot us an email, tell us about your tank, tell us about your goals, and we can definitely recommend a product that's gonna work for you. The first pro of LED lights is they are probably gonna be cheaper to use in the long run. If you buy LED lights from a reputable manufacturer, and all of them on our site are reputable manufacturers, you can expect these fixtures to last for five to 10 years, maybe even longer than that. The second pro is heat. Compared to T5s and metal halides, LEDs put out a lot less heat. Another pro, especially when compared to some other light fixtures, is their noise. They have really quiet fans or don't even have any fans at all, so run virtually silently. And the final pro is most LED lights are controllable to some degree, so you can fine tune the spectrum and the intensity to dial them in just how you want them. The first con is they can often have a higher upfront cost. The second con is actually the exact same thing as the pro is that they are programmable. As a beginner, your worst enemy when it comes to lighting is gonna be tinkering and changing things. Corals need consistency, and I'm not talking consistency over the span of a week or over a month, but I'm talking about setting your lights and not touching them for nine months to a year. So if you have the ability to mess around with your lights, I know as a beginner personally, I messed around with them constantly, which in the end killed my corals. And the final con is there are just way too many LED fixtures out there that it's super overwhelming 
for beginners. So again, reach out to us here at BRS. We're here to help you find the right one. And we are finally on to our last and fifth type of saltwater aquarium light, a hybrid light. Hybrid lighting seems to be all the new rage in the hobby and for a lot of good reasons. And it refers to either combining together LED lights with metal halides or more commonly LED lights with T5s. You really get the best of both worlds when using a hybrid fixture that combines LED lights and T5s. Firstly, you don't have to use nearly as many T5 bulbs, which is gonna cut down on the long-term cost of a T5 fixture. Not only that, but using less T5s and more LEDs is gonna use a lot less energy. And on top of that, the long bulb of the T5 fixture is gonna help prevent shadowing in your tank. And then on the LED side, you can get a lot more PAR intensity for less energy when compared to T5s alone. So basically the benefits of putting together a hybrid LED T5 fixture, less heat, less wattage, less money, better spread, more PAR, and virtually no shadowing. And this lighting option has become so popular that we have an entire page dedicated to hybrid lighting options. You can either go a more DIY option and buy a fixture that you put together yourself, something like this Aquatic Life T5 fixture, and then you just have to choose compatible LED lights and install them yourself. Or you can go with something like this ATI Hybrid Light. It's a little bit more expensive, but it already has the LEDs and the T5s put together for you. While I think a hybrid lighting fixture is a really good option, I don't think it's a great option for beginners. Primarily because if you go something that's already put together for you, like the ATI hybrid light, it has a really large upfront cost. Or if you go with something like the aquatic life system, you need to have a little DIY know-how and be able to choose the correct size and the correct LED lights that will fit in that system. And as a beginner, I'm always trying to keep things less expensive and more simple. So why not go with a fully formed T5 fixture or an LED fixture that's just easier to set up? The first major pro of hybrid fixtures is it combines the best of T5s and of LEDs. Secondly, a hybrid system uses less heat and less energy than a T5 system by itself. And lastly, you will get a much more consistent spread of light throughout your tank when you combine LEDs with T5 fluorescence. The first con is that it typically does have a higher upfront cost than just going with a standalone fixture. The second con, unless you go with a fixture that already combines the two, it's gonna require a little DIY knowledge and it's just gonna be more confusing to set up than a T5 or a LED fixture by itself. And lastly, a hybrid fixture still does have T5 bulbs, which means you're gonna have to replace them every year. They're gonna consume more energy and they're gonna put out a little bit more heat. So for all of you true beginners out there, what would we recommend in terms of your first light fixture? Well, first off, we would recommend getting an LED fixture. There are a lot to choose from and it can be a little bit overwhelming, so feel free to contact us anytime and we can help you find the right fixture or fixtures for your tank. As far as my personal recommendations for LED lights, I have two, and I'm thinking of beginners who really need to balance cost, controllability, with the ability to grow corals. Firstly, I would recommend the aqua illumination fixtures. You can go with the 16, the 32, or the 64, just depending on the size of your tank and what your needs are. I've used them for a long time and I've recommended them to others. They have a sleek form factor, they're moderately priced, and they put out a decent amount of par, and not only that, but they come with their own mounting arm, so you know exactly the height to mount them at. And the second LED fixture that I think straddles that middle ground is in a reasonable price and can successfully grow corals is the MaxSpec Razor Light. It comes with controls built in so you can set it up right out of the box. Let me stress to you again, by recommending Aqua Illuminations and MaxSpec Razor Lights, I am by no means saying other lights aren't as good. I've just personally used these and had a lot of success and think they're a good middle option for beginners out there. If for whatever reason you don't want to go with an LED light fixture, we would recommend going with a T5 fixture. The company ATI really seems to have cornered the market right now on T5 fixtures. They come in lengths from 24 inches to over 60 inches, and they come with more affordable options that aren't programmable to more expensive options that allow you to set a program and dim them to simulate sunrise and sunset. 
our third and final recommendation, if you're up for a challenge and have a little bit more money to spend, would be a hybrid T5 LED fixture. You really do get the best of both worlds from T5s to LEDs, and if you can spend a little bit of money, why not go with the ATI hybrid lighting that's already set up for you? But honestly, if you think this conversation is just way too complicated and you just want one recommendation, buy LED lights. If you need help, contact us. We will help you choose the right one for you. That was so much information and honestly I was just browsing BRS videos about lighting and Ryan and Randy have made so many out there. So if you want to nerd out and learn a ton more, you can just browse all the videos they've made, but we will put a link to some of our favorite series below. Well, that completes the second of three episodes all about lighting. So stay tuned for next week episode 28, I can never remember which episode I'm on. Episode 28, where we are gonna tell you how to set up and program your light for success. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.